Hello YouTube and welcome to a very special episode of Talk Liberty. I'm your host John Wilford and today I only have one story. I actually um, looked at some other stories and there was nothing else to seem worth reporting on in the light of this. Um, this is actually something I'd seen a while back and it, it, it pissed me off to be honest. And I don't know if it's getting as much cover, coverage as it should out of state. Hopefully everybody out there has heard about it but I doubt you have. So I want to read a story to you and then I'll discuss some further details that aren't discussed in the story that I saw when it first came out. Um, all right. West Point graduate and Iraq War veteran, veteran Antonio Bueller appears to discuss his heroin treatment and arrest on New Year's Eve in Austin, Texas. After he simply recorded video of what he considered to be police mistreatment of a woman being arrested at a gas station. Bueller gives his take on why he was arrested for harassment of public service. A third degree felony after police claimed he was interfering with the DUI suspect already in the process of being arrested. He is currently gathering witnesses of the event, including those who recorded video, to build his case. Antonio Bueller, 34, was stopping for gas on his way home early Sunday morning when he and his friend heard a woman scream. We look over and we see the cop violently yanking the female out of the car. Bueller told KVUE, as seen on the video taken by a cell phone from across the street, the woman had her hands pulled straight up behind her back. Bueller told Bueller said it just looked extremely painful. Bueller began taking pictures of the scene which caught the attention of the officers. Officer Obrowski approached Bueller and accused him of interfering with the investigation before pushing him into the white truck seen on the video. Bueller was then taken to the BAT, Breath Alcohol Test, BAT, the BAT bus, and asked to take a breathalyzer. Bueller was a designated driver that morning and had not been drinking. According to APD spokesman, Cop Anthony Hippilto, it was likely Obrowski took Bueller to the bat bus in order to complete paperwork on the DWI arrest. However, when Hippolito was asked to provide the reason Bueller was required to take a breathalyzer, he responded with, I don't know. These cops assaulted a woman who had committed no crime and then levied three false charges against her. Antonio Bueller committed no crime and that they then and that they then levied two false charges against him. One being a felony that carries a sentence of two to ten years of prison. That this cop deliberately lied in his affidavit to destroy Antonio Bueller's life for not kissing his ass. Uh, it's got a YouTube address. I will link to that. Um, we need your help and your signatures. We need everyone's support. That ha we need everyone's support that have seen Antonio's video to send a message to Rosemary Lindbergh, District Attorney, that we demand charges be brought against Obrowski and Snyder. We will not allow our public servants to violate our civil and constitutional rights. Thank you for your support. And below it is, an, is the video taken from the cell phone that recorded Bueller taking pictures. Now here's the thing. I, I do know that there are a lot of civil rights cases where um, the whole thing just blown out of proportion and you may think well I'm sure the cops are just doing their job I want to be perfectly honest I don't know what the two women did or did not do I, I'm unaware and I'm not going to comment on on that but the cops specifically said that Antonio Bueller walked up to them approached them and spit on them you can click and they, they say which again is not mentioned in here, that when he spits on him, he wipes off his face and then turns around and arrests him. Later, when the cell phone video that I'm going to link to appears, you clearly see the cop walk up to him. The cop never wipes his face. Now, the video is too blurry to tell what he spit on, but there's obvious, obvious holes in his story. Um, and it makes sense that if you get spit on, you wipe your face off. Maybe he just did it that day. Uh, I'm going to expect that's not what happened. The thing that really bugs me is not the investigation. That's for a jury 
or a judge to decide depending on how they decide to try this. Um, that's not my business. That That's the business of the courts. Here's the problem I have. There was videos taken from the, the front cam of the car. The DA got, uh, uh, got together with the police department and they were refusing to turn those videos over. So there's clear evidence of what happened and it, they, they're trying to cover it up. Um, all I want to see is all the evidence come out. There is no reason that they can't turn over evidence. If, if they have to hide evidence, something is wrong. I, I'm, I'm not saying what happened. That, again, that's for the courts to decide. That's not my position. My position is they need to come forward with all the evidence. One of the things I'm going to link to in the bottom is going to be a petition uh, to help out Anthony Bueller. That's actually the page I just read off. If you see this and you agree that all the evidence should come out of this case, please I urge you to go sign the petition. Normally around this time I ask people to like and subscribe. I want you to take the time that you might have taken to like or subscribe to this video and go to the link and sign the petition. You hear all the time people talk and communism again, I've said it before in previous videos, it's become such a bad word and it's not. It's an economic system that I personally don't agree with, but it's an economic system. But one of the main complaints that you hear from the days of communism when it was on the rise was that there were police states. We now, right now in this country, imprison more people than those police states ever did. And now we're setting a precedence that not only can we arrest you, not only can we arrest you for taking pictures of us arresting you, but in fact, we can arrest you for taking pictures of us arresting you and cover up the evidence. And I can't stand for that. You know, we get on these self righteous trips in America about wanting to spread democracy and freedom around the world. Well, if this is the freedom that we speak of, I wouldn't want my country infected with that kind of freedom. So again, I urge you, I implore you, please go to the site, sign the petition, um, this is an incident that happened in Austin, Texas. Write letters to the DA down there. Do whatever you can. There is no reason that this veteran and grad, uh, college graduate, I think you said earlier. Yeah, West Point graduate uh, should have to go to prison for standing up for the rights of other citizens. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching.